Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. If you are looking for a note-taking app that can function both as your note-taking app but also as a to-do list application, if you don't want to actually have two different applications for that, this uh, application right here called Ample Note might actually be the best one for you. It has everything from a graph view to notes, tasks, and even calendar. And in today's video, we are going to go over all of these things. And the best part about it is that it has a really good free plan. So actually, let's start off with checking out the pricing on this. So we have a personal free forever plan, which gives you actually everything you need, but you could choose to pay for this to get a graph view access. I like a graph view. So I uh, would probably do that if I were to use this application. You can uh, have sidebar note, sidebar note viewer, sync external calendars, six color teams to choose from, tag sharing for group collaboration, and insert table of contents. Also file uploads larger than five megabytes. That is the pro plan. This is 584 uh, build annually. This is 10 build annually, which gives you vault notes for client encryption of sensitive content. Uh, publish your notes as a web page, eight color teams to choose from. And the last thing you have is the founder application, which is $20 each month uh, built annually, which is quite expensive, but you get. Uh, Early access to new features, 10x votes on feature roadmap, impress your friends with the title Ample Note Founder, dedicated Discord channel, and two one on one onboarding calls for annual sub, uh, subscribers. So I would probably say that this looks like the best one, unless you need the encryption right here, then um, this is quite good. But the pricing of this is actually quite good compared to a lot of the other applications on the market. So I wouldn't say that um, it is a highly priced. I think it's quite cheap for what you are getting compared to a lot of the other note-taking applications on the market on this plan. Like the founder plan is expensive, uh, uh, but this is pretty much for people who just want to support the development of this and really love the application. Now, uh, back to um, back to the application and how it works. So the only like downside with the free plan is that you get this all the time. You can just press dismiss, but uh, it is uh, good to uh, it is good to keep in mind that you actually get that uh, header every single time. So the way this application works is that it uh, it revolves around something called the idea execution funnel. So the thing here is that while I am writing a note, uh, so let's say I'm just writing my journal or doing morning pages or whatever it is, I can actually create tasks. Uh, and the point here is that uh, as you go over your day, as you write about things that are happening, you may actually want to or come up with a lot of tasks. So let's say I wanted to take out the trash or I wanted to clean the house or I, I had to film a YouTube video like this. So there can be a bunch of things, uh, but let's say you had a bunch of tasks. Uh, this works both in your daily pages, but it also works inside of here. So I could do it actually inside of here as well uh, just adding a new task either by using markdown or pressing the task button right here uh, and i could just add a couple of tasks if i want to um, and the same would apply here so tips on just as an example to show you uh, this as well tips on second brain because it has backlinks as well and those backlinks work inside of tasks as well which is uh, something that I just wanted to show uh, and let's say I had created a couple of tasks here I can choose to actually start them or schedule them I can hide them until a certain point I can make them a priority but let's say I didn't want to see this task until at least one week from now I could just go ahead and press one week and uh, it will show up in hidden here as hidden until Monday, November the 4th. Uh, I can also go back to these two and I can schedule one of them. So let's say 
I wanted to do this tomorrow. Um, and then I can jump into my calendar right here and I can actually uh, just uh, go ahead. These are old ones, uh, but uh, I can actually go ahead and I can drag things into here uh, and I can go ahead and I can remove them from here as well. So if I hit this, I can change the day, I can repeat it, I can uh, remove it from schedule, I can dismiss task or I can reschedule it. So let me just remove this old one right here. Um, I can also here uh, choose to uh, not show certain tags or not show certain notes. Uh, that is also something you can do inside of here or you can just quickly jot down uh, to do if you uh, had one like I could add a task here let's just do a test task and quickly just write that down and drag it into my calendar you can also change the view of the calendar this depends on what you would want and what you need um, so you can drag things and uh, resize them depending on how long things will take so this is really good if you um, if you uh, rely heavily on your note taking or on your notes to come up with the things you have to do or actually i would say that this can be quite good for a lot of people uh just because uh it is a great way to first write down every single one of your tasks but also schedule them so you know exactly when you are going to do them um so that is just uh it is just how the application works and I really like that. I also like that you have one for work and you have one for personal so you can divide those two. And one other thing you can do inside of here is that I can just mark a spot on the calendar and uh, write a quick to do and it will uh, be scheduled in my calendar. Uh, and I can go ahead and I can actually uh, remove this as well so I can dismiss this one. Uh, so you get the point of how this application works, but you also have a graph view that is available on uh, the pro plan. Um, and you also have the ability to like link different things together. So I could go ahead and I could just uh, do a new one like test and just uh, start writing inside of this here instead. Um, uh, write a couple of tasks, write things, and just use this as my go-to note-taking app. So you have both the ability to add, uh, to have like basic note-taking and everything you would expect in a note-taking app, like markdown functionality, the ability to add uh, tasks, the ability to add uh, file attachments, images, backlinking, graph view, uh, and overall, it just offers a lot, but the main selling point of this and the main uh, differentiator between this and a lot of the other note-taking applications is the way it treats tasks. So um, it is quite similar to something uh, like Note Plan, for example, which is similar to this, but uh, that application evolves around the, uh, around the Apple ecosystem, while well, this is available everywhere i have used it both on my iphone but also on my windows computer i mainly use web versions uh, on my computers though so that is also uh, something to keep in mind that i uh, know a lot more about the web versions of different applications than i do uh, um, around the desktop applications but ample note is available on uh, mac os uh, windows and linux um, a pro but a pro uh, unlimited or founder subscription is required to run the desktop application so uh, it is only available if you actually have uh, one of the pro plans and that is because it is uh, still in a beta release uh, but my guess is that at some point it will um, it will uh, come out as a full application uh, it gives you independence from the browser and local data storage as well uh, so if you are on one of the pro plans this might be worth testing out but 
uh, it actually uh, works on uh, the web as well and it is quite good on the web and the mobile application is also uh, quite good as well. So that covers everything around this application that is mainly focused around um, the ability to take notes, tag notes, uh, you can nest tags, but mainly the focus is task management and having tasks and notes living side by side. The main drawback of this application, in my opinion, is just the uh, overall look of it. Uh, I mean, compared to something like Noteplan, for example, I wouldn't say that this looks as good. It may feel a little old uh, in the uh, in the user interface here but uh, the application overall is quite good except from that uh, so that was it for today's video if you have any questions feel free to leave them down be below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for watching today's video